Bill Schulteis is a fee-only registered investment advisor with Soundmark Wealth Management in Seattle, Washington. And he's also the author of the book, The Coffeehouse Investor. Welcome, Bill. Thanks, James. So, Bill, can you explain to our viewers and investors what The Coffeehouse Investor is and how they can benefit from reading it? James, 10 years ago, in the midst of a rip-roaring bull market, I stepped away from a a pretty lengthy career as a stockbroker on Wall Street. I felt there was an enormous opportunity to share with investors a far simpler and ultimately a much more successful approach to building wealth than following the daily ups and downs of the stock market and trying to predict the latest uh, fads, the latest trends, the hottest stocks, and the five-star mutual funds. I introduce to investors three simple principles, and these are principles that are in anyone's control. And the first principle is save for a rainy day. By that I mean it's so important that we have a financial plan so that we know how our saving and spending habits are going to impact us 5, 10, 15, 20 years down the road, and whether or not we're on track to reach our financial goals. The second principle is don't put all your eggs in one basket. By that, I mean we need to take the information that we've captured from our financial plan and allocate our assets so that they broadly represent where we're at in our life. If you're a 25-year-old, the main risk that you face is not the stock market but what inflation will do to your purchasing power over the next 40 years. On the flip side, if you're 65 years old, a good rule of thumb is to follow what John Bogle said and to put your... Uh, fixed income allocation equal to your age uh, in your portfolio. So that's the second principle. The third principle is that if you are going to invest in the stock market, the simplest way to capture the entire return of the asset classes around the globe is through low-cost index funds. So this third principle, I've titled it, there's no such thing as a free lunch. And although the question uh, continues to be debated, whether or not you can beat the stock market, a more important question that we as investors need to ask ourselves is, what is the price we pay to try to beat the market through active trading, through the pursuit of five-star mutual funds, and fail? Statistics clearly show out that the more activity you have in your portfolio, the the worse it performs. So these are three simple principles that I have witnessed firsthand working with clients over the last 10 years that work. And I'm convinced that they are going to maximize our chances of reaching our financial goals in the future. And I'm excited to be a part of this movement across the nation that continues to bring more clarity uh, to investors who do want to build wealth, ignore Wall Street, and get on with their lives. Well, that sounds great, Bill. I have had a chance to read the book and completely agree. You're a great writer. And um, for those viewers watching, you can download Bill's first chapter for free to get a taste of what Bill is talking about. Highly recommend it, and I want to thank Bill again for taking the time to share his insight and opinion with us today. Thanks, James.